Hi, in this video I am going to demonstrate how we can import uh, CAD assemblies that have been done in other CAD softwares inside SpaceClaim. GrabCAD is a very good resource which has access to different assemblies uploaded by users. So in this case we consider a piston assembly uploaded by Mr. Masoud Rahimi that has been uploaded in the format of step. So I have already downloaded this file. So we go to space claim and we go open the step file. Space claim has very good option of importing CAD files of various formats including uh, proprietary formats. So let's click on open. Within no time space claim reads the CAD data and uh, converts them to corresponding components inside space claim. So as you can see it has already converted these and you may observe that uh, the icon in yellow is called component and those in green are called solids. So we need to separate these three solids into different components so that we are assign different uh, assembly constraints between them. So let's click on uh, solid one and let's name it bearing one and this let's name it as bearing two and block remains as it is. Now all the assembly conditions are defined at the right top corner of your screen. So we need to fix the block. So that can be done using anchor condition. Click on anchor and the block is fixed now. So similarly we need to fix bearing 1 and bearing 2. So we can collectively select or rather we select each and then click on fix bearing 2 fix. Okay so far so good. Now we need to define assembly conditions between other components between a piston and a block we would expect a cylindrical or translatory condition so in our case let's select the cylindrical surface of piston and cylindrical surface of block using control select and click on align so this would make the cylindrical surface aligned so here you can see, you click on align, it will show you two cylindrical mating surfaces. So once that is done, uh, let's click on piston as a component and move it. As you can see, it just has translatory rotation between the piston and cylinder and also it has a rotary rotation. Uh, rotation. So we are not interested in the rotation, so let's click on escape okay we need to create a revolute joint between uh, the spin and piston so let's click on this cylinder and we have a very small cylindrical surface here let's click on that and go to align as you can see the pin has actually moved up and we'll also make these two planar surfaces Let's select these two planar surface click on align we can also use tangent for that matter let's keep it with align so these two planar surfaces are now mated so you can't have relative rotation between these two once that is done so let's have a cylindrical condition between this connect, uh, connecting rod. So we can select on align first as well. So select the cylindrical surface and select the other cylindrical surface. So it goes up. So once that is done, we need to now the as you, please notice that the align condition is uh, active so you can select surfaces these two surfaces okay so once that is done we will also need to have a cylindrical I mean align between this plane 
and let's see I don't think we have a provision for that I, I wanted to have a planar surface between this planar mate and this plane okay let's go ahead one and two only thing is it will have some offset so for this demonstration purpose I think we can go ahead with this so once that is done we just want the final condition between this and this surface uh, everything goes back okay I think we have defined all the conditions let's give a rotation to our crank crank is here select the component and click on move so if you go to side view and start rotating the crank you can see that piston goes up and down okay so this is about uh, assembly modeling of a component or an, uh, of an assembly inside space claim that has been imported from resources such as GrabCAD. Now a quick look into SC motion which is a motion and simulation add-in for space claim. We just click on update. A new panel is opened called SC motion which has all the uh, components and uh, conditions that were given so let's click on the condition cylindrical and let's give an input of say 360 degrees per second click on apply okay and let's minimize the window click on simulate once the simulation is done we can see the animation of it there we go in space claim we are giving the rotation through our cursor now we are able to govern the rotation uh, by giving an equation to rotation yeah that's it thanks for watching